Hello and welcome back to day seven of our listen and share series for the month of July. My name is Giselle and I hope you're doing well today. Our message for today comes in the form of recognizing that there are things in life that seems difficult, especially for us creatives. Um, however, because we have been given them, because we have been given the opportunity to bring it forth into reality, then we are capable and more than able to do so. So taking on the hope, taking on the courage and even the boldness to believe that, you know what, I got this, I can do this. If it has been given to me, then it is for me to do. And it's so true, I've, I've fallen into the, the comparison trap um, that really is just a form of procrastination, I would say where you say, well, so many people have done something like this before, or so many people have thought of this idea and have reproduced this in so many different ways. So even though it's coming to you in a different form, um, a different format, you feel like it's already been done and you use that as an excuse to procrastinate or to not move forward and actually do what you've been asked to do. And when I say what you've been asked to do, what I believe is that when ideas come to us, whether in our dreams, that's happened to me before, <laughs> whether it's through someone saying, hey, I have a need for this and you actually have a solution for it, whether someone asking you to do it, listen, you're really good at this please do this for me. And so maybe you don't have the specific answer yet, but because you have the tools and the resources, the experience and the knowledge, you can easily put that together and provide that solution. Or whether you are inspired by something in nature, you see, I think I shared, I don't know if I shared it here, um, but I was walking in the park and I saw this beautiful tree bark. It was so smooth, it almost looked like it was something that would come from out of an art gallery. It wasn't like the sycamore tree, if you're familiar with sycamore trees, they're kind of a dark gray and a light gray, but they're really smooth. It's not the same type of bark, but it had this like multicolored um, bark to it but it was very smooth and it literally looked like it could have been a piece in an art gallery so even when you're like out in nature and you see something and you're inspired by that then you take that and you go create or for many of us <laughs> creatives if you are um, going through a situation in life whether it is something wonderful and you want more of it or something not so wonderful and you don't want any of it you're able to take that and transmute it into a song into a poem, into a, a spoken word, into a short story, into a novel. You're able to take that experience and use it and to actually create something amazing from it, right? So we are able to do that even if the topic has already been done before, but we're able to step forward and to say, okay, I can do this. This is meant for me because it came to me. I was inspired. It came from spirit, right? I was inspired by this and something else jumped in through, through my imagination. <laughs> it came to me. It just morphed into something else. Now I have a whole image, a whole visual of how this could look. So that means that it, it is for you, right? It came to you. It is for you. And maybe a different version will come to someone else um, or maybe something completely different will come to someone else and maybe what you bring is just a piece of a bigger picture and a collaboration with other people who are also being inspired and taking action on that thing however if each of us come to a place of saying man this is difficult or man i don't know how i'm gonna do this or man i don't know how this is gonna turn out or what if people actually don't want it right those very, very familiar thoughts. If we do that with every bit of inspiration that comes to us or idea that comes from us or that is inspired from our dreams, from a song that we hear, from an experience of life, if we do that and say, no, it's already been done before, it's already been said before, or it's too hard, I don't wanna do it, I can't do it, I can't, I can't, I can't, then we're completely missing the fact of our own sovereignty. We're completely missing the fact of our own beauty, of our own capability. Because if it came to you, my love, if it presented itself to you, my love, if it came down your street, <laughs> in your neighborhood, if it came to your house, then that means it was meant for you. It is meant for you to do and that you can. 
And if you feel like I don't have all of the skills or all of the tools, well then that's when you go out and you start asking. But more than likely, you have something. You have enough to take the next step and believing that the next step will provide even more resources, even more tools. So I um, am sitting on this real time. I'm really sitting on this and believing that no matter how difficult, oh my gosh, working on this written project, listen, Word document, Word was not, was not being nice today. <laughs> and I wanted to throw it. Um, but even in that, I am choosing to believe that, okay, if there's something that I need to YouTube and Google to get this thing to work out in the format that I want it to work out, then I will do it. Does that mean that I just stop? Oh, I can't do it, it's so hard, no. Does that mean that I'm, you know, I'm not sure of all of the next steps for publishing. I'm not sure of all of that stuff, but I'm learning that now. Right? If I if I made a children's book, if I wrote a children's book, and I'm like, I'm not a great, I don't want to illustrate it. I don't feel like my skills are the best to illustrate it. Well, then I will figure that next part out, and that illustrator collaboration will come to me. But it came to me, so then I can do it. I can do it, and the same thing for you. If it came to you, then you can do it. It is meant for you to do. And if you have a question of time, then that's when you go into your quiet time, your corner, your space, and you listen. You listen to your heart, you listen to your spirit, and you listen to your creator for the guidance on the timing. But it doesn't mean don't do it. What the heck? No. Just because someone else is writing, for the example of the children's book, someone else is writing a children's book. So what? Oh, it's a similar topic. And, but it's not yours. It's not through your words. It's not through your coloring. It's not through your imagination. It's not through your humor. It's not from you. So therefore, it's completely different. And what you have is valuable enough to present to the world. So if it's come to you, that means you got what you need in order to make it happen and it's meant to come through you. If it came to you, it's meant to come through you and you can do it. So that's our message for today. Um, like, subscribe, and share. And if you haven't joined our online community, please do so because it's bomb. And enjoy the day. It's a beautiful day. Sending you so much love. Mwah. Live fully. Bye.